Alicia Keys is grateful for friendship with her father after years of resentment. Keys was raised by her mother and um, for years, the singer resented her dad. She said their relationship got better after a conversation with her friend who reminded her um, she can't keep asking him for things he's not going to do, thereby getting herself or setting herself up for disappointment. She says, and I quote, that changed so much for me and I was able to start a relationship with him in a new way based on knowing who he is as a person and accepting who he is as a person. When I started to do that, we started to be able to connect and I felt good, end of quote. It's something about um, father-daughter relationship that um, you really can't take away and uh, I know what she feels right now, the joy that comes with knowing that the first man in your life has become your friend once again. And um, I like when she came to the, like it was an epiphany for her when she realized that, look, if, I'm, if I keep asking this guy for things that I know he wouldn't do, then it's going to just be me getting disappointed all the time. So it's just better to start off with friendship, and which is how most great relationships start anyway. It starts with friendship. So being friends with your dad and then... Um, this feeling she's, she's feeling right now is quite understandable because she's quite elated that um, she's back in connection with her father. And I'm grateful for that because, um, you know, aside, like, let's put spirituality into that as well. There's a blessing that comes with being friends with your dad and um, father-daughter relationship or father and son relationship and the blessings as well. So shout out to Alicia Keys and her dad. Um, this story, um, it confused me mm -hmm. a, a tad bit because... Later. Um, the idea that, okay, I, let me just start with the forefoot where I would say this only works because she's an adult and she doesn't need a father. Mm. Um, it's impossible to redefine the father relationship when you need fathering. Like I don't need a friend when I'm 16 mm. or when I'm 12 or mm. when I'm four. Sure. So that advice from the friend saying that, oh, why are you always testing your support for disappointments? Like it's, I, I, I really disagree with that. I think you're supposed to. Um, expect that you get fatherly love from your father because she's older like I mentioned maybe that's why she can then choose to see things otherwise and say you know what because it's an insult to the father it's like saying well, you know what since you're really crap at this let me not just ask you to be mm -hmm. a father anymore let me just see you as a friend and see what's up so if she has any fatherly advice she's not going to be going to her father but if she wants to talk with the friend then she would i mean if that works for her and she's getting happiness from that that's absolutely fine but uh it's not I, I don't say that's one of the stories that i can start to like say people should emulate especially if you actually need a father which every child mm -hmm. every female person mm -hmm. not even child every adult does i'm hoping that I, I'm, I'm not even hoping i'm guessing that she already has fatherly figures in her life mm -hmm. so then the absence of him it's not a, it's not a problem and then she can then even like make an extra friend but if you're if there are women out there who don't have any fatherly figure in their life this is not a good example i don't need to be friends with my dad i need a dad like not not a friend but like i said if she's getting she happiness said, yeah, um, like in, uh, that sorry about that that um she has um she realizes limitations as a father so we don't know about this limitation but it's so limited that he can't even be a father he must be a friend yeah, no, we don't, it's we don't, weird we don't, we don't it's like okay, okay let me give an example you like, say if you say we're, we're dating and then i say you, ha you they, there's so much limitations with you that you can't even be a boyfriend you're you're a friend then you're not a boyfriend like you're so, <laughs> in that department you're so useless <laughs> that I can't even give you the title of being a boyfriend. I must For put me, you in I friend think, department. I think um, I would just um, shout out to her friend because sometimes it's difficult for you to find someone who would look at the peculiarity of your situation, mm. understand it, and advise you based, based on, that. on that. It's different when we're having a conversation based on general. What is a father supposed to do? What is a mother supposed to do? What is a boyfriend supposed to do? But when we narrow it down to a conversation about a person and the other person. It's very important to understand the peculiarities of that relationship and advice based on that. I think that's what the friend has done and which is what you rightly said when you said that is because she's now an adult. I mean, she is an adult, right? You, I, I mean, 50. I can't even... I, I sat down to think about this story and I cannot begin to say this is exactly how a father should be to an older daughter, like what exactly do you want him to do? Which is what you as a person will have to define for yourself. But for her, I think she was expecting so much more that a friend had to call her back to say, 
you're an adult, right? Look at this man, look at his strengths, look at his weaknesses, and understand that this is what he can do for you part time. And even when you're someone's father or someone's mother, mm -hmm. it's always been said that, it's said that it is very important that you're friends with them as well. So being friend doesn't mean that you've totally failed as a father or mm -hmm. as a person. And Alishakis Al 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 rightly said that she just realized that she needed to get to know him more yeah. so that he can as well know her because they had no relationship they had to come together after a long time so it's important that you get to know this person and you she, he as well knows her and then find out what his weaknesses are what his strengths are and then take it up from there it cannot just be the same thing for everybody actually when there is a subject in question that's and how she's I not it. the first celebrity to connect to their fathers when they became adults. We have the likes of Drake who brought back his father. We have Kevin Hart who mm -hmm. brought back his father. And you see, those stories that yeah. I've followed, they actually brought back their fathers to be fathers. The story, the, well, the story I read, it isn't that she's trying to, like, develop a, a fatherly relationship with this person. She said she had to evolve that. Yeah. And, and for her, that works. Maybe, maybe I read that no, wrong. No, 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 you're right. But, um, you know, in Drake's case now, Drake still goes around singing about how his father was absent and now... Yeah. He, all of that but the father you can't change saying, that that, no, that would be there the for a long time saying that no that's it not true yeah. you're using that to make money yeah. you're using that just for music there's, there, there's that controversy that. So, that you know there's that controversy kevin Hart's case i don't think um it actually needs the fatherly figure he's just doing it because it's just cool to bury the hatchet especially the older you get the more you realize right. um a lot of things and the easier it is for you yeah. to forgive See, i like that he said you know, that which now brings the question what is a father actually supposed to do for an adult woman or an adult still man there's, there's still, there's there, there are conversations where you want him to you, you want what? to get his actually when you are an alicia keys or you are a kevin hart it goes way deep into conversations and you cannot have that deep conversations and add pick advice from what your father or your mother is going to tell you if you do not have a a, a base that base is some form of friendship and understanding so if that is where they are starting from except now, so, well, except except that was yeah because um if you, if you, okay imagine how alicia would feel now walking down the street of new york with her dad just have a nice yeah if the case is that she like, is starting from friendship alone. and she wants to evolve that into then having having a father relationship that's fine mm. what i read was i'm done with asking you to be a father let's just stick with friends let's just um i, I respect you respect me she even said it she was like it to be a man and a woman relationship like i'm friends with a man and i'm a woman and you accept that I'm, and and then respect that mm. that was her word so she's yeah. not trying to oh, i get what you're that. trying to dissect but i'm also saying that when you have a grown woman that now have children so you're making it seem like right and then you are a man fathers? that is the father at the end of the day you have to begin to understand that now i'm talking about the father now a father has to now begin to understand that this is a woman and i am a man and i have to relate of course not woman and man in that sense but like she's a grown woman that has her decisions to make and, and what we now have is conversations it's, it's not necessarily the father and the daughter talk every time always if coming from me, here down me. it is a relationship and a I, th friendship. I still think adults need their but fathers but i might be okay to do what exactly I, uh, that's like a no, completely different, different i'm not saying you don't need your father but at some don't. point the relationship grows to becoming a conversation between two adults that learn from each other but does that take away the fact that this is your father no it's still he's still your father and she's still your mother but a conversation has not got it to it's just like a conversation you're having with your dad when you were say 16 or 14. it is not the same thing with what you have with I your feel dad like that's if, what I'm if, i think if the father was present all their life they would still have a fatherly relationship well, when okay. they're adults guess what? i think she's taking a step a, a step in the right direction in the sense that yeah, by the time they become friends and he begins to value the friendship he would yeah. realize what he has missed all along and he would try to be a better dad okay